Aloha, everyone. This is Barbara Bray and the Rethinking Learning Series for the Emergency Home Learning Summit. And I am so excited today. I have Celeste Endo here. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Barbara, for having me and offering this space and time with you. Thank you so much. You are welcome. In fact, let's just show them. There you are. <laughs> And we're going to talk about, it's so fun, you came up with this, making rainbow connections during uncertain times. I'm so excited to talk to you. I, I, every time I talk to you, I get, I, I just get so happy. <laughs> I feel the same way. You just brighten up our day. So thank you so much, Laura, for all that you do to keep kindness coming and um, continuing throughout our lives. Thank you. Oh, you're so well, sweet. So everyone. Um, we put together a handout for you, and it's going to be on the lower left. You'll see it. It's a bit.ly home learning dash bray dash endo. And um, you can register if you haven't registered, so you can actually get into the summit. And I'm just so excited to have you here. We're also, by the way, we're going to let, make a copy um, PDF of this slideshow for you. So don't worry about all the things that Celeste is going to share with you. Could I tell you about where I'm from a little bit? I would I, love it. I'm from Queen Ka'ahumanu Elementary School, where we have rainbows all around campus. And I get to serve preschoolers through fifth graders. And my um, teaching job is with technology. But we totally call each of us wizards in training. So we have a little skit. And if you don't mind, let's do it together. All you need is your body and oh, 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 your I don't know if I could get up. I don't have enough room. Ah, here we go. OK, so here we go. What we're going to do is put up our Sasalis triangle hat. It might look like this. Yes, our wizard's hat is isosceles triangle. Two sides equal, one that is not. Hat says boink. Boink, yes. Pig says oink. Hat says boink. Boink, everybody. We call that onomatopoeia. The onomatopoeia. Sound. Yes, that things and animals make. So hat says blink. Yes, good job. Right now, <laughs> we have something else in our wizard's costume. So if we think about what a wizard would have on, we have a <laughs> hat. Now we have our cape. So reach into your pocket and unfold that fabulous cape. Shake it out, everybody. And we're going to whip it over our shoulder, make Elvis really proud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put it on, tie it up, and button it down. But remember, it is an invisible cape. It is not a cloak of invisibility. I want to see every each and one of you. Okie dokie. Got right. it. <laughs> In our other pocket, what else do we have? You might think a broom, but it's actually a wand. So and let's reach into our pocket and it's collapsible. So we've got to stretch it out, boys and girls. And everybody, friends, okay, stretch it out. Now, it is happening like a lightsaber. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Please don't stop the people in the Hollywood Square above you, okay? No, let us hear you say we are. Oh my goodness. Now let me see your tippy toes. Come on, everybody, to the left. To the left, to the right, to the right. Now slide, 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 slide. All right. Let me hear you say we are. I say technology, but we can say wizards in, in tra training. Yay. Wizards in training, learning together and growing together. Right on. Now, I have not done anything like that in my introductions ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was inspired by Teach Like a Pirate with costumes. I said, oh my gosh, we got to come up with a costume. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I hope everyone enjoyed that so far. <laughs> they, wait till you see the rest of this presentation. <laughs> Let's go to the next slide. Uh-oh. We weren't prepared for this, right? So one of the things we wanted to do is show you that even though there's a pandemic, 
you can be a wizard in training and you can do some things at home and you can learn anywhere, right? Most definitely. And you know, right now, so many hats that all of us are wearing when we've never imagined these hats before, like so many unusual hats. We got to be um, taking, making sure that we check in with the thermometers. We got to do all this distance learning at the same yeah. time as live learning. It's just so much that we're having to to wear and do so our different hats that we put on you know since yeah. we're putting on so many hats why don't we have a little fun with the hats we need to wear you know let's uh -huh. let's make it joyful for our students let's see what happens because i know there's some hats coming up here <laughs> <laughs> there's one that you did oh this was goodness. Yeah, the unity that was for the unity and and SEL. Not everyone might know what that means, so maybe you can oh, explain. Yeah. So social emotional learning is what all the kids get to learn now in at least the the, the district the district where I work, the Hawaii Dis Department of Education. We all need to teach social emotional learning from preschool, well, from kindergarten until high school when they graduate from their high school, right? So mm -hmm. that's initiative. And we've been able to get these beautiful bands that say Unite for Kindness, Acceptance, oh. and Aloha for maybe three years, the past three years, we have these banners and everyone really go, gets gung ho, spreading kindness around, you know? But but this year we, we weren't able to, to, um, to make or to wear bands, right? Because mm -hmm. we weren't able to spread it out with um, our schools because we're closed. So, I mean, at least we can't have the foot traffic in face to face. So now, yeah, yeah. So now, um, the second video from Unity Day 2020 is um, how you can make your own bands, and it was wow. so cute. I get to work with Head Start students in preschool and special ed. So our preschool and um, Head Start oh. students were creating their bands and we made not only wristbands but we made headbands and we were told like oh. wonder woman kind of action you know with the power changing. oh <laughs> was, i love it i know i saw the video and i went and made one just oh. so i could have it and i told my granddaughter about it i just thought it was wonderful so i hope everybody looks at the video because there'll be a link there let's yeah, go to the next see, one <gasps> this one you were going to tell me about this, but I think you were going to tell in a fun way, right? Oh, oh, oh. oh here's hat coming on. Da, 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 da. Here's one hat. You might hear <laughs> Kermit, right? And we can totally have all these hats, uh, you know, around us and then just change hats and we can bring the hats um, for reappearances. But this one I used during um, quarter four last um, school year and my daughter Shelly was helping me with so many different videos try to engage the students and and so she helped me by um playing the ukulele part and figuring out because i'm not really good at at ukulele but she is learning so so she played the ukulele and if you don't mind i i love to sing it and, and oh we can good okay can you hear Why are there so, so many thoughts in a rainbow? And what can we find inside? Rainbows have visions that come to solutions, and rainbows help us to strive. So let's be brave and Oh, she plays the ukulele really well, too. You. And your singing was great. I mean, no, her, her music playing is awesome because of band. Band ah. in high schools and band in intermediate. Thank you, band teachers. 
Oh, that is really wonderful. I've been wanting to learn the ukulele. So I maybe might learn, that'll be my, one of the things I do next year. <laughs> oh, thank you. Let's go to the next. Whoops, did I lose it? Whoop, whoop, whoop. No worries. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I think, I don't know what happened here. Here, let's go, let's see. There we go. <laughs> Aha. So we you, we have three different things that we're talking about. And one is how growing together and how we can support each other and learn from each other. And I love this picture. I took it off one of your slides and I thought, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, okay, that was for Computer Science Education Week a few years back. Um, this is Willy Wonka trying to show how our imagination can really come to life with coding. And we can totally learn from each other when we code. And don't you know that December is um, it, it, in, um, it, it revolves around the, uh, Admiral Grace Hopper's birthday, um, but it, it's coming up. Computer Science Education Week, Hour of Code coming up. Oh, you know what? <laughs> just got to make sure that we're still. So, so if you have a hat to wear, you can bring your Willy Wonka action. Come cool. with me, and we'll be in a world of your imagination. Oh my gosh, you have this cutest hats! I just love it. <laughs> Happy hour soon, very soon. <laughs> you look like a spy. <laughs> it is this year, December 7th through the 13th. <laughs> really? Really? Oh, gosh, that's really cool. So let's go to the next slide. Let's see if I can get. Oh, this one you told me about. Tell me a little bit. Tell everyone about this. Oh, my son, he was in robotics class and he was um, he was thinking, hey, he saw a sign that says there is no I and Timo, Snoopy sign. And he said, he asked his robotics teacher at the time and he, and the teacher said, you know, there's no I and team. And then, so my son came up with this and he was working with in my classroom and just fiddling around with the alphabets. And he said, mommy, we is before me. And we can think about it as we comes before me, right? I think that's like uh, super awesome. Uh, uh, that's um, so cool when we talked about the we together, that's, Beautiful, and he came up with this? Yes, in oh 2017, God. he was thinking of that. So he wanted to put shirts together, but we didn't get there yet. <laughs> he should, that's really good. That is really good, I love it. Well, thank him for it, you know, for it. That's so cool that he did that. Okay, so let's go. Oh, I love this. From our students, right? It's a two-way street. So, so much learning from our students and our children. I think yes. I learned the most from my children at home too. <laughs> Well, that's kind of why we're doing this because learning it, they're doing learning at home and parents are kind of like, what's my job? <laughs> we're all learning together, especially now, right? We're all learning. Oh, together. It's amazing what parents are doing and balancing everything, but kids are doing a lot on their own. It's amazing. And, and they're finding that they're learning in different ways and just opening the door by some of the things that you're sharing. It's and, like and they're becoming empowered as teachers too. Those our, our littlest have been teaching me the choose love, brave breath. You know, you put one hand on your heart, one on your tummy, and you deeply breathe. Three, three seconds in, you hold it and then you breathe out. Mm. But that's just calming us down, part of the SEL social emotional learning movement, right? I love oh. social emotional learning and we get paid to teach or to learn about social emotional learning now. Well, you know, I think that because of everything going on that we need social emotional learning, we need mindfulness training, we need to know how to calm ourselves when we're very anxious with what's happening. So I love all the activities. I love what you have here. Is there maybe we're not going to show the videos, but do you want to tell them what the videos oh, are in here? Oh, so, so you know, we we just had some videos. Um, so if you create a character and you dream up a, of a, you dream up a character. 
character. You don't want to just throw it away after one use. Keep reusing our characters. And, you know, it just strengthens the mm. messages when the students see the same character giving another important message, you know, and it deepens the learning that way. And um, yeah, it, it, it's so fun when the, the, the students are able to come up, come up with their own characters, costumes, and be teachers too. That, that's been really cool. Sometimes we have them being the ones on the stage presenting and, and sharing. We're totally oh. learning from students too now. And that's so wonderful because it's all ages and they mm -hmm. can do yeah. it. Well, thank nice. you. This is really cute. I love the, you know, the pictures and the videos. I've seen some of these. I hope people take a chance. And, oh, yeah. on the bottom, it was it was such a difficult thing. I I was trying to do a TikTok dance to renegade. <laughs> and it's so hard. Oh my gosh, my brain, this brain cannot wrap itself around it. So my daughter, if you look at the video, it's so funny because I had to put the Renegade song over the actual audio because my daughter's in the back saying, mom, it's this punch and then you gotta, you got this and that. She's walking me through the whole thing. She's so patient. So I thank Shelly for helping me <laughs> learn a TikTok dance so we could move up our fifth graders with a, um, we all our teachers last year and students got to add a little, um, fifth grade celebration piece to a video. Oh, Since I we, love it. Because I'm going to be doing a, a flash mob dance on Zoom. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to try to learn some of the things. Maybe I'll call your daughter. The children, <laughs> yes, to help us out. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. And then we were talking about how do you engage students and so they have their voice uh choice in you know what they're doing but they can show their passion and demonstrate their strength you came up with some really cool things i think it's on the next slide right yeah, oh, okay, okay. yeah. well you're gonna should we go there yeah, yeah go ahead go ahead <laughs> okay because there's a lot here this is really cool oh, yeah. So I, I, I was, um, since you told me we're going to do it, I was like, okay, I got to get permission from some friends because, oh my goodness, if we look around our school communities or our home communities, wherever we're learning, we find resources, like partners in our community to strengthen our messages, strengthen our mm -hmm. learning. So, so what, um, Tusi Tala is the name given to Robert Louis Stevenson. Um, oh, author that you might have heard about because he went to Samoa and in Samoa they called him the weaver of tales which is Tusitala spider yeah and then and then so Mr. Matt Tom Matthew Tom is this phenomenal teacher of English who wears many many hats so he's like a, a um the digital media guru he helps out with the band he he does this Tusitala on the side with an after school program and a team of editors so he's like ah. the, the the mega hat wearer right but um so he's been putting these books together and publishing it with work so Tusitala volume one to oh. see Tala volume two. And what's really neat is this cover was designed by a former Queen Ka'ahumana student. So our students um, feed into Robert, Lubin, Robert Lewis Stevenson Middle School. So <gasps> we took that name of the school and, and they, they really empowered their um, students with it, dedicated to all the voices of the past, present, and future that wish to be heard, to see Tala, the teller oh. of tales. And, and if you look through this, there's a lot of students from our community and and my my teacher friends and uh, I were so tickled because you know there's so many students that we recognize like this is Johnson Nguyen who has three I uh, two brothers that go to our school now you know so they're uh, recognizing and the, the author um went to our I mean the not the author but the the illustrator here went to our school and when we showed this in the class her her sister was like hey that's my sister you know oh uh, so that is so cool real people and so what's cool is that three theory links since he 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 um mr matt tom and his team they get it so that tusi tala is gifted to every student at robert lewis stevenson middle school i, I believe every student might be just the oh, i think it's every student and yeah. and there because they weren't able to pass it out this year he made a 
digital version. Oh, is that so what this is? is? Yes. And so, Are you giving it away? Oh my God. It away. That, that, it's okay to share it today with you, Barbara and friends. Oh, everyone's good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tom. That is so beautiful. And I didn't know that Tisitala was, I didn't know that. That's the first time I heard about that. Okay. Wow. And so he's doing some amazing things and including some of our alumni from our school. So that was kind of cool. Now, and, and everybody has people in their community and their homes or, or around their homes or around their schools that can help, you know, create stories and, yeah. and, and bring art to kids and just and engage our children. So, so I tell this story about this next person. Doc, oh, okay. Truck Nguyen was mm. an elementary school student at our school. And she went on to go to Robert Louis Stevenson Middle School, then went on to Roosevelt High School. And I met her when we were both masters of educational technology students at the University of Hawaii Manoa. Huh. She didn't stop there though. She went on to get her doctorate at the University of Southern California, USC. And I'm telling these kids that, did you know that you can be a doctorate in education? You can be a doctor of education, just like doctor of medicine, doctor of dentistry. You can be a doctor of education. And they're like, what? And did you know that it comes from our school too? They're just so impressed. So I want to I'm not sure, you know, if we're gonna show it to you, but here, here we go. I'm gonna show you one of her characters, okay? Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. Hello, friends. <laughs> My name is Hoku, the sea star. I'm one of the characters that Dr. Chuck Nguyen voices in the My Digital Voyage. She also um, mm. is the voice of the, the, the squid professor so go ahead and check out my digital voyage if you change the one to a two three four and five or six you'll see her different six modules that the team at the curriculum research design development group has put on at the university of hawaii at manoa so it's really cool and ah. her background is also in in um she was a worker at the i think she donated her time volunteer volunteer at the Waikiki Aquarium for many, many years. So mm. she's an expert in ocean animals as well. So it's really cool. It has a lot of Aww. history in that. And she's also said that she, that that anyone is invited to join this voyage. And it's all about internet safety. There's six really cool modules. And right now it's so important that our kitties can, can have these interactive mm -hmm. experiences with learning how to be safe on computers especially with all that stranger danger. She talks about all that, the, the characters, there's many, many characters with many different voices that bring this stories to life. And, and it has t embedded quizzes that are really easy and cool to follow. So we say, hey, are you the angler? You wanna choose the angler fish or you wanna choose the yellow tang or the hermit crab? <laughs> And we, we have every student vote for their choice of who they want to check out first. <laughs> I love that. That is so cool. And all the, are, are the names like um, listed? So oh, maybe we can put I'll, that I, in. A, sure. Yeah, we'll we'll make sure we ha they have those because we oh. want people to know who the people are. That That is wonderful. And, oh, I got to show you this. So, so you know, um, at our school, we have amazing teachers. So many amazing teachers. One teacher is um, Dr. Carrie Leong. You know, while, after she wrote this book with her husband, she became a doctor. And she actually had a TV series locally in Hawaii called The Greater huh. Good, where they would huh. interview yeah, they would interview um, local entrepreneurs, businessmen, and and like government people, and like um, celebrities, and all kinds of people, and kind of like how followed their career path to inform them about that. So we were reading these in class when we had face to face, but it's kind of hard to read this in class now. Um, but you know, I can still read a, a, a little part of it. But you know what she did? Her her son. It's incredible. He's a high school senior now, and her son um, took this to another level. H him and his team, they they have 
on a student version, interviewing all these career professionals in different types of careers. And um, I think it's around the world. And there's different um, schools from different parts of the world that are part of this virtual student experiences really? available on YouTube for free. And it all happened after COVID because they realized there was a need. You cannot go visit the colleges anymore. So he's having these people come to us. Oh my God. I think it's relevant. So I'm going to show it to my school too. <laughs> oh, well, I can't wait to look at all of these. We'll definitely have to show people. <laughs> this is amazing. So, oh, we added this. I just thought it was so fun when I saw nerd and what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are totally neuron educated, resourceful dreamers. But the reason why um, we created this is because, um, you know, smarter balance assessment is our um, Hawaii, the type of, of formal assessments we need to take at the end of the year. And it's always kind of a struggle to, yeah. to get students really pumped up for it. So we create these character SBA <laughs> mascots <laughs> or get the NBA no 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 but or or, or honoring the NBA <laughs> yeah but you know, we, <laughs> get them energized about the assessments coming up <laughs> oh that is so funny you know they're they're all drawing pictures on their scratch paper of piggy nose paws and, and it's so cute they're so they're so clever oh yeah. that is so Funny. I just love it. Well, I, I thought, you know, we, I mean, you have so much to share. It's hard in just a short time to show everything, but you really shared a lot so far. So the last thing we were going to talk about is the Makers Holly. I said it right, Holly? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us about it. Well, you know, if we look around our own homes, there's so many things we can make with and create with. Yes. So, so different containers that are clean and, and different things we have around the house. We can, you know, bring the outdoors in or we can expand, you know, create these experiences mm. with things right in our homes, make something ordinary in our homes extraordinary. We have a little character that wants to introduce it. Do we have time, um, Barbara, for another what, character? One more character. Yeah, let's do one more. <laughs> okay, so this is Tuturella, Tutu Tinkerella from the Maker's Holly. In Hawaiian, Tutu means grandma. So here is Tutu Tinkerella. You come to our house. We learn from everyone. That's the learner style. You come to our house. good <laughs> so so is this um the link that's here what does that oh, go to okay that goes to how we can create with all kinds of things around our house so that's oh, this has just been amazing <laughs> i can't believe how much you shared already so let's just tell about us i think uh we have one more that has all the information about us but um, we're going to give everybody this slideshow so they'll get it. I'm going to stop the share and put a side by side just so we can finish and just share what we just did. Uh, here we go. That was so much fun. <laughs> Thank I you just, for me and, I, and us, the cast of characters. <laughs> that was just amazing. And I, I just think that everybody is going to be so grateful because it, it's been a real tough time for a lot of people. And if you just bring so much joy. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know you were going to have us do do the wizard hat and do <laughs> You know, it's incredible what teachers have been doing. We have Diane Murakami, who's our English learner teacher, yeah. because, you know, they don't know English very well. She has four songs in one lesson, you know, for, for them. And her whole room, she's turned it into a farm where they virtually visit. And we had a pumpkin patch visit 
for all the kindergartners who've never seen our school. And then Mary Benetti, she's having us in Minecraft um, make uh, the Manoa Heritage Center, which is a real authentic experience. Mm -hmm. So so we're going to be doing that as a team. (laughs) It's amazing. Everything you, so I am so grateful that you could do this. This is just beautiful. Mahalo. I get to say that. And thank you so much, Celeste. This has just been, I mean, I mean, I don't know if anyone else feels like I do, but I just had a party and I'm in my home and I got to have fun time celebrating with you. Thank you. You so bring the party wherever you go. Thank you. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Mahalo again. Mahalo. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just see. There we go.